So raise your right hand and so join in. A record just... number of new permanent residents were added to Canada's population last year, 431,645. But the big question is how many are here to stay. So-called onward migration, that's immigrants who come and then leave, has been creeping up silently for decades and it's gone pretty unnoticed. A new report titled The Leaky Bucket finds the number of immigrants leaving Canada surged between 2017 and 2019 and has yet to stabilize. We're talking about spikes of 30 to 40 percent above the normal uh, historical average of what you might expect. The reasons are not surprising. Everything from housing affordability and inflation to health care challenges and fair credential recognition. When they come to Canada, uh, if there are speed bumps along the way for foreign credential recognition, that's definitely presenting some challenges for those professionals to stay. I am pleased to introduce the International Credential Recognition Act. Late last month, the provincial government took steps to address this, introducing legislation that would require regulatory bodies to remove unfair barriers in 29 professions. From veterinarians and paramedics to social workers and engineers and teachers. But the rules won't go into effect until this summer, and advocates say it's only one piece of the puzzle. I think there's lots more uh, we can do, like for example, even um, creating that welcoming community for everyone. According to the Global Talent Competitive Index, Canada fell from ninth place in 2016 to 15th, scoring poorly on immigration retention. And experts say given the labor shortage right across the country, Canada could stand to benefit from a bit of humility. We need to actually be open to the idea that immigrants can contribute here. And if we can do that, then we can really make the most of those contributions. That's how Canada's prosperity has been built over centuries. And that's how our prosperity will be maintained in the future. But not if people don't stay. Kylie Stanton, Global News.